Hello YouTube, Farmer Sam Prepping here. <clears throat> I want to give y'all a little secret as to know when to really prepare for severe weather. Uh, listen. The region originates from the National Weather Service Forecast Office located at the Shelby County Airport in Calera. The current time is 10.23 a.m. Central Standard Time. These are the 10 a.m. observations for the local area on Wednesday, December 29th. Okay, we're not quite there yet. But what I'm getting at here, there's a special statement in here that is aimed at emergency management personnel. This is a very important statement to listen for when you're listening to your weather forecast. 9.94 inches in rising. <clears throat> in Gadsden, it was cloudy. The temperature was 68 degrees with a dew point of 67 degrees. The relative humidity was 96%. The wind was south at 7 miles an hour. The pressure was 29.93 inches in rising. And now, here are some other observations from around the region. At Birmingham, it was partly sunny with a temperature of 73. It was cloudy with a temperature of 64 at Decatur, 72 at the Shelby County Airport, and 73 at Montgomery. At Auburn, rain and fog were reported with a temperature of 65. Atlanta, rain and fall. Very, very warm conditions for a December, late December day here in Alabama. So, we have storms in the forecast, which is why I'm listening to this. This weather outlook for the county served by the National Weather Service. Here we go. In this is the severe weather the outlook. outlook. Through tonight. Strong to severe thunderstorms are possible across central Alabama this afternoon and into tonight, mainly for areas north of I-85. Damaging wind gusts are the primary threat, though a tornado is also possible. And now the extended outlook for the period Thursday through Tuesday. Strong to severe thunderstorms may continue across the southern counties into Thursday afternoon, with damaging winds the main threat. Strong to severe thunderstorms are also possible across central Alabama Saturday afternoon and evening. Damaging winds are the primary threat, though a tornado is also possible. In addition, locally heavy rainfall could occur which may lead to flash flooding of low-lying, poor drainage, or urban areas. Spotter information statement, activation of storm spotters and emergency management may be needed Wednesday afternoon through Thursday, as well as on Saturday afternoon and evening. That's the part I wanted you to hear, the spotter information statement. That is always attached to the severe weather outlook. Uh, on that portion of your recording. And this is a, like a recording. They renew it every hour. Uh, so the spotter information statement, first of all, a spotter is, is a storm spotter. A storm spotter, nine times out of ten, is a ham radio operator uh, who work with emergency management personnel and who work uh, in coordination with the National Weather Service. What storm spotters do is they report ground truth information. Okay, a radar can indicate a tornado or a severe storm, but it cannot tell you what's actually happening on the ground. So if you listen for the storm spotter information statement, and it's saying for the EMA to have people on staff, it's a pretty serious weather event. So uh, this is why uh, this is what I wanted y'all to understand when you're listening to your weather radios. You know, we all have these, our little portable weather radios and stuff. This is what you really need to pay attention to uh, as part of the severe weather outlook uh, on your NOAA forecast. So if you hear the spotter information statement and they're telling people they're saying that uh, emergency management and personnel may be needed Wednesday. That, that, that's today, okay, for this video, uh, and Saturday. So you're talking about some pretty significant weather uh, coming in. Uh, if, you, if you listen to the spotter information statement and it says storm spotter uh, personnel will not be needed at this time, then it's not a very severe event. Uh, just something that can help you determine uh, what your actions should be when preparing for severe weather. 
Uh, this is Farmer Son Prepping. Y'all have a blessed day and a happy new year. God bless you. Stay safe. I'm going to try to do that myself today. Try and turn it off. Come on, then. Let me get mugged.